Come in. Johnson Pettigrew, University of North Carolina. Yeah, I know. They still talk about your grades there with reverence and awe. Your reputation as a scholar has preceded you, sir. I hear you written a book. Yeah, it was only a minor work. The general would care to read it. Surely. You may have a copy with my compliment. Captain, retrieve my book from the back. Uh, general, my apologies, but I do not believe I will have time to read that today. <laughs> Gentlemen, I want you to look at that clump of trees on that ridge. That is where all the units will converge. You will be spread out in a long line, perhaps a mile, about 15,000 men. All the units converging on that point on the crest of that ridge. Now, look here. The Yankee Center, stone wall, small grove of trees. General Tremble, Commandant Pender's division, will be on the left. Pettigrew's brigade in support. General Pickett's division will be on the right side of the attack. And uh, George, I want you to put two brigades in front and one in back, like so. Yes, sir. Garnet's brigade, that's Jimmy Kemper. Armistead's in support. Good, all right then. Garnet will dress off the of Trimble's flank. He will be the hinge, so to speak, in a series of left obliques. Somewhere about the Emmitsburg Road, you will execute your first left oblique, then direct, then left again, and so on at your own discretion, in order to deceive the Yankees and spread them out in a long line. Here. Any questions? All right, gentlemen. Gentlemen, that is the conversion point, that clump of trees. We will use all the artillery. And they will center on that point right there. We'll fire every gun they have until the ammunition runs out. When that is done, I will give the order, and you all go in. Gentlemen. I do believe this attack will decide the fate of our country. All the men who have died in the past are with you here today. I want to say, sir, it's an honor to serve under your command. Thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity of serving here. I have prayed, sir. 